Hi. Um, here we'll discuss the optics of a black hole. So, we have here this uh, the space part of the Schwarzschild solution. Okay, we have a point here where you, uh, you know, in the old times they would have been called an oculus point where an eye or a camera might be located. This is the center of the whole region, right? So we call it the center of the hole since the hole's really got no center. But and this circle right here, that's the event horizon. Okay. These here, these lines, those are geodesics, light like geodesics. Okay? Or at least I should say the projection onto the space part of light like geodesics. And since you know that uh, geometry is static, this doesn't change with time. Okay. Alright. So now we see uh, several things. For example, imagine that you had three objects here. Okay. Uh, once again, let me tell you just in case uh, this is a geodesic, this other line here, curved line right here is a geodesic, and this one, sort of curly Q one, that goes around like this is a geodesic. Okay. And now we ask imagine there are three objects this one here, this one here, and this one here. Okay. Say that. Um, you look at those three objects, right, from the from the eye point. Okay, what will you see? Well, if you look in the in the tangent the, the direction here to this curve, you get light from this guy, light that he emits right here, tangent to the curve there. Okay. Now again, if you know, if you look at this one, he light that he emits this way will be caught at the eye point right here, and registered as being in the tangent direction to that curve right at the eye point. And so on for the other. Okay. But now, what would this guy see when he tries to look at the three objects? Well, at one angle, the one corresponding to this uh, top curve here, he'll see this guy. At a slightly lower angle, he'll see this guy right here. Okay. Lower still, he'll see this guy right here, right? Uh, let's see if I. Is this right? Yeah. Okay. But also. And I kind of fouled up here in what I wanted to tell you because of this. At this angle right here, not only will he see this guy, right, at this angle that corresponds to this, but he'll see the other three also. Because light that these guys emit in this direction, the direction tangent to the curly Q curve up here, will travel to him and will be registered as in coming in from that direction. So what will the guy actually see when he looks out? You know, he'll see two, two balls sort of higher up, two spheres, right? And then he'll see a lower down, he'll see three spheres. And in fact, he'll get some kind of uh, self-interference from this lower sphere because he'll be getting light from it in, in two different directions, that it emits in two different directions. Okay, so also this. Remember that uh, this geometry is symmetric. It's metric is symmetric about flips over these dotted lines. Okay? So it's symmetric about a flip over that dotted line. So therefore here on the bottom you have the same, you know, the same type of uh, line like geodesics. Right above the dotted line, there's this one, for example. So right here, the middle one, and then on the bottom, there'll be one exactly like it, right? And if you think about it, this happens, you know, in, in a circularly, right? So out of the paper, again, in every direction, you'll have the same thing. All right. So, so what uh, what this uh, means? is that this point right here, for example, one that lies on that uh, line of symmetry, right? 
he looks in this direction and he'll see it but since there's another curve like this he looks in that direction and he'll see it so in every direction that he look that he looks right that 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 there's a, a, a light a light uh, beam path that touches this point he'll see it so for example here the light beam is this one right here right at that angle but then imagine that you know it's a uh, circularly so what will he see he'll see a ring and that's you know the famous Einstein rings now uh, one other example again let's say we have an eye point here just you know how this type of uh, optical illusion or you know in a sense lensing can occur right so you have an eye point here say you have three different objects again what would happen when on this tangent direction that I drawn the vector to here right he'll see the top object in that tangent direction right there right you'll see the middle object right in this other tangent direction he'll see the lower object but what I didn't show you last time because you know the the there were these two things sort of mixed into one but here I've separated for you is that if he looks in this direction now he'll see the three things so light that these guys emit that way along this curve right here will come to him from this angle so what will the guy see when he looks out he'll see three things one on top of the other and then lower down he'll see three things aligned like one right behind the other so it's almost as if you were looking at this you look at the sky and you see three balls then lower down you'll see three balls like this sort of on top of each other okay and that's uh, the beginning of the description here of these uh, black hole optics you know I, you can also imagine for example the the lines after after which uh, the curves after which no more light comes out you know from examining the paths you could see that that uh, first of all you notice that you could see even things behind the hole appearing you know as if they were out at the sides just from this analysis and you can also notice that there'll be um, for for example like the borders of the hole would seem at a very at a bigger angle than you would normally see this in flat space and things like that but this could all be gone just from analyzing this thing right here